Hey, what's up dreamers? I'm Zeke and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I make around $1,000 option trading every single month. I'm gonna show you guys my exact strategy. I'm gonna show you guys how you could draw it up yourself so that you could get started today too. Now the strategy that I use to make around $1,000 a month um, option trading is called divergence. Now I use that strategy on Nike right here. Nike is up around $953 just in one month from me putting in this option call. Now this strategy, you have to sit back and be patient. And if I could just find one stock every single month that has the perfect setup, and if I win one of those every single month, I can make around $1,000 every single month option trading. Now I know they say 90% of traders are unsuccessful inside the stock market, but let me tell you guys something right here. The way that you can win inside the stock market, the way that you become a good investor is not by making great investments every single time. It's all about consistently not making bad investments. So yeah, a couple of your options, your investments will make a lot of money. Some might not make any money at all, and some might actually lose money, but you could, the way that you become wealthy and rich over time is consistently not making bad investments and consistently not making bad moves inside the stock market. And with this diversion strategy, you're gonna have a very good risk to reward to where even if you're losing some, as long as you're winning a couple every single month, then you guys will be successful inside the stock market. So if you guys do wanna get started, I'm gonna leave a link down to Moomoo down in the description. You sign up, deposit $100, and now you can receive up to 20 free shares with my special link down in the description. You click that, sign up, deposit your money, get free shares. But enough talking, let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are on trading view. Now I'm going to show you guys the how to set it up. Now divergence is when the market is trading up and then whatever indicator that you're using is trading in the, in the opposite direction, right? So right now we're going to be looking at the stock price of Nike right here on the four hour time frame, And then we're going to be looking at the RSI. The RSI indicator uh, indicates whether if it's overbought, it's going to be overbought at the top. And then if it's oversold, it's gonna be oversold at the bottom. Overbought mean the company is overvalued at the time. Oversold mean that it's undervalued at the time. Now, right, Nike right here had an earnings call. This is the play that I showed you guys at the beginning of the video. They had an earnings call and it dropped all the way down here. And people was asking, when I'm gonna get in on Nike, I'm gonna buy Nike now that it fell all the way from um, $94 all the way down to $74. Let's shoot you buy Nike right now. I said, I'm gonna sit back and be patient and see how it plays out. Now, this was the strategy that I've been looking for for the last couple of months is the diversion strategy. So before you even get started with the diversion strategy, you want to draw some support and resistance lines. So a, a strong support line would be right here. Right. You see Nike came down. It bounced around seventy one dollars, went up a little bit, bounced again around seventy one dollars, came up and bounced again around seventy one dollars. So that is a strong support line. If it breaks that line, it's probably going to fall, but it has a hard time falling below seventy one dollars. So with the diversion strategy, you want to go from the low to low. But I've been drawing out pendants from the, um, the peaks. So I'm going to go from this peak around right here all the way to right here. This is the strategy that I've been drawing out. Let's go right there and draw it all the way out to right here. So this is the four hour time frame. So right here, you guys can see that it's in a clear downtrend with a support around $71. Now where the divergence is, is that you guys see this going down right here. We're going to mark the low right here and then we're going to draw it right there. So from here to here, you see the price, the price going down in the downtrend, but on the RSI from here to here, you guys see that it's consistently going up, right? So that is going to be a bullish divergence. So what we're going to do, we're going to wait for it to break above this downtrend line right here. Wait for it to break and close above this downtrend line. And then we could go in and buy an option on this with a um, stop loss around $71. So our risk to reward needs to be two to one, three to one, four to one with a very short stop loss around $71 or $70 and 50 cents. So let this play out a little bit and let me show you guys how it played out. So we're going to skip forward and went up got rejected around that downtrend line, went back down towards the support line of $71 right there. We're still not in yet. And then it started to go back up. And then it broke right there. So it closed above the downtrend line. 
So what I did is I went in and bought out an option that's going to expire out a couple of months, maybe a year from now. And then I had a strong stop loss at $71. So if I was to enter a long position right here, I would set my stop loss around a little bit below $71, so maybe $70.50. And then I would take my uh, take profits at around a three to one uh, risk to reward ratio, right? And then we're gonna let that play out and let me show you guys how it played out. It shot up <laughs> and then it just kept going up and there it goes right there. So now this is where Nike is currently and that is how I am up around $1,000 just from this one trend right here. Um, the bullish divergence, as you guys can see, it's clearly went from a low to high and from a high to a low. And right there, you guys can see that it's overbought. So this might be time for me to start to take some profits in Nike. Now, I posted this play inside of my Discord. If you guys do want to join my Discord, I'm going to leave a link to Patreon down in the description. As you guys can see, I posted this all the way back in August 8th. Um, this was the play I posted out and I explained exactly what we was going to do. It got rejected right here and then it went back up and then we all made money from this play, right? I made the downtrend line, the up the trend line, and we all made money from this play inside the discord. If you guys do want to join the discord and get, um, technical analysis like this, um, every week, then that link is going to be down in the comment section. You go to the Patreon, the Patreon will take you to my discord. Now, another one that I also posted inside of the discord was Intel. INTC. Now, Intel also had a, let's go to the one hour chart. Now, Intel also had a, a divergence going on down here. They had an earnings call. It got rejected. And as you guys can see, I drew it out right here from the top to the bottom. And then I had drew it also out from the bottom to the top. You guys can see that it is a clear divergence. Not every divergence is going to be easy to read, but this one it's nice and clear. So we got in around right here and it's going up uh, at a very slow rate, but we have a very short stop loss. We kind of want Intel to go up here or we could set our um, stop loss right now to a break even so we can move our stop loss back to right here. But right now we are in profit on Intel. I also posted that inside of the Patreon, inside the Discord. Now let me show you guys one that's not drawn out yet that is coming up that I'm going to post inside of my Patreon this weekend. I haven't posted inside of there yet, but by the time this video comes out, um, you would have missed it. So if you want to get the live technical analysis, you guys already know what to do. So let's go to Google, G-O-O-G-L. All right, so here we are on Google, right? Do we want to look at the four hour chart? No, we'll look at the one hour chart. So the first thing that we want to do, remember guys, the first thing that we want to do is draw support and resistance lines. So right here, we're going to bring out the rectangle and then we're going to draw a support and resistance line right in here because uh, it had a hard time breaking above this price point of $160 and $158 a while back. And then it also came back to this price point and it's been holding um, in this area of hard time falling and staying below this area for quite some time. So that is going to be our support and resistance line. So let's go ahead and draw out this line right here. All right. So we're going to draw that line all the way out. Now, as you guys can see, uh, I've been telling you that I've been liking to draw from the highs, even though you're supposed to be drawing from the lows, it still works the same. I like drawing the pendant. So we're going to go from this high right here and we're going to bring it all the way to where it hits the most points at the top. So it touch right here, touch, touch. And then touch again right here. We can move it down just a little bit right there. So touch, 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 right? So we're going to be waiting for it to break above. You guys can see that it's in a, a clear downtrend. Now, if we come down here to the RSI and we're going to start right here where it was low and then we're going to go right there. So this is trending up from point A to point B. And this is trending down. So it's, it's in a bullish divergence. So we're going to be patient on this, even though it's been on the downtrend for quite some time. And it fell a little bit after the earnings call. This is a play that if we get this right and it, it trends and it pulls all the way back to 159 and then it comes back up and get rejected and then it finally breaks above this downtrend line in a bullish divergence, then we're going to go in and buy some shares up of Google or we're going to go in and, and do an option call on Google. I'm um, hoping that it start to trend back up long term over time. Update as I'm editing this video, Google is currently up 30% and move exactly how we thought it was going to move. So you guys already know what to do. If you want these trades, join the Patreon. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to work every single time, but of those three trades of um, Nike, Intel, and Google, 
if one just because we have a three to one risk to reward ratio if one just wins then i will be in profit so if, if nike hits perfect if nike hits google misses and intel misses i would still be in profit because i have a three to one risk to reward ratio now if i hit all three <laughs> then i could lose around six in a row and still be in profit so we want to look for the perfect setup you want to be patient look for the perfect setup before you enter each trade. So yeah guys, with the bullish divergence with it going up and the bearish divergence with it going down, those are some of the, the easiest ones that I've been consistently investing into or trading into um, to help me earn some extra income long-term. You're not gonna win them all, but the thing is, like I said, you wanna consistently not make bad investments. So as long as you're having that three to one, four to one risk to reward ratio, and you're winning a couple here and there, you will be a profitable trader. You will be a profitable investor. Being a good investor don't mean making perfect trades every single time. It just mean not consistently up right that's all that means guys so yeah guys let me know what you think about this strategy have you been using the diversion strategy before have what other strategies do you use do you use the macd crossover indicators do you use the fibonacci sequence let me know if you're a trader what do you do down in the comment section i want to see what kind of uh, system that you guys use to have any kind of success or uh, let me know if this is a strategy that you're going to start to implement but yeah guys if you made it to this part of the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button because that helps out this channel more than you you can even imagine it's completely free that they hit the thumbs up button. I'm around 290,000 subscribers. If we could get to 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year, guys, that would make my Christmas. That would make my New Year. So if we could get to 300,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I really appreciate it. So hit that subscribe button. And if you guys do want to join the Patreon, if you guys do want to join the Discord, where I post my option trades, my portfolio, and I have three pro day traders in there right now that post their option trades in there every single day. They are actually day traders. I swing trade, they day trade and they be absolutely killing it. If you want to be a part of a community of investors that want to be financially free, just like you, make sure that you check out the Patreon down in the description and also in the pinned comment section. And don't forget to pick up your free stocks with Moomoo. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comment section. I can't wait to see what you guys got to say about this one. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you guys the Dream Green Show. And I'm out. Peace.